everybody. It's it's Monday night. I'm Serkin. We're all here, and I hope we're all happy. Um, I'm joined by three wonderful people and and someone who is just all right. I won't tell you which is which, though. Um, you know me. You're here. Say hi. Hello, everyone. Happy Monday. Tell them, tell them who you are in case they don't know who you are. I am Unom Unomia, and I am a guide on the Project 99 name servers. You are just struggling right out the gate with I those am. words. I am. Mm. You're not just any guide. You're our senior guide. Yeah. It's kind of a big deal. Yeah. You're like the guide of guides. The rest of them are your minions, even though you don't like when I call them that. They kind of are. Um, if you guys in chat are wondering what I'm eating, it's still the Gushers I was talking about a minute ago. And we also have the wonderful, wonderful Tam Tam. Say hello, Tam Tam. Hey, everybody. This is Tam Tam. Who are you? I am a player on Red, the Red server, R99. I used to play on Blue, and then I converted over. A plus. And last, but wait, never mind. Gong Show! Say hi. Hey, what's up? Tell them who you are. Uh, I'm the leader of Empire, and I've also been friends with Serkin in real life since we we're about 11 years old, so it's, it's nice to finally get on stream and uh, just hang out here. That's good. Thank you. You realize people actually believe that. Even if you've never stepped foot in Chicago in your entire life, they will absolutely believe that. Um, and, as I was trying to say a moment ago, last but not least, we have Garter. Say hello. Hey, everybody. Who are you? I am Garter back, and I'm a good guy. Yes, yes, you are. Uh, how long have you... All right, yeah, that's it. That's the stuff. We're going to start with you, Garter. <laughs> How long have you been playing on the server? I feel you might be the newest person. You didn't yeah, play Blue previously, am. so at a bare minimum, you might be the newest person to the project as a whole. No, I played Blue. I rolled a wizard to my low 50s. I got sick of it and came back home to red. Uh, I started here at the end of November. And in November, what about you, Tam Tam? When did you start? Uh, on red, I started back in September. Well, in general, on blue. Uh, a year before that, on blue. Okay. Okay. So, been around about two years. So Tam Tam, you're our blue to red convert, and yeah. Garter, you're our new player, and Gong Show, you're our resident neckbeard. That's correct. I like that. I like that a lot. Alright guys, you don't have to listen to me eat anymore. That was the last gusher. I'd like to thank you for your patience and cooperation while I was putting delicious fruit juice filled candy fruit snack things into my mouth. Garter, how did you find Project 1999? Uh, I think a friend of mine told me about it actually. Yeah, a couple of my buddies and then uh, I convinced them to come over to Red and they rolled some tunes and then they quit and left me with their characters. So. Oh, so you had friends already playing on Blue Server. Yeah. Uh, did you guys do any raiding? Or just, you said low 50s, but were they higher level? Yeah, um, one of them was in the Dole, Gentle, blah, blah, blah. Lord killed. Bob. Mm -hmm. Yep, and uh, I was in Taken for a little while. Taken, you were in Taken? for a little while, huh? Yeah. yeah I was in your I remember you, Tamma. Yeah. Holy shit, I didn't know that. Oh, were you guys... Were you guys guildies in, the, in guildies, another but... life, in a bluer life? I never knew that. I only rolled there because the population was so low here, and then uh, I got into the raid scene over there, and I said, hell no, and I left. So, Was uh, it already the class system when you got into Taken? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> once upon a time, that didn't exist. And once upon a time, me and whatever staff member that hadn't been thrown off staff yet were chit-chatting about how we loved watching Taken get mobs because we felt they were this, like, guild that was well on their way to just 
being, you know, uh, I'm not going to say they would have just automatically been the top guild on the server, but they definitely would have been competing for the top mobs against the top guilds. And, and I felt the class system came and just, like, stomped that to death. Put an absolute end to the, uh, the drive that, that was making them more and more competitive. And then I thought the class system made all of you nerds soft and complacent. Yeah, that guild had excellent organization. I'll give it to him for that. All those guys that, that mm -hmm. run that guild, mm -hmm. they, they were very well organized. So you came to Red. I don't I don't want to chit-chat too much about Blue here, but you came to Red. Your pals came with you. Yeah, how did you get them to bail? They were like, we can't keep engaging without logic or fairness, and we're going to try Red server? <laughs> no, um, we were all Red players on live. So um, the only reason that they rolled blue is because the pop over here was like 50 to 60, I think, or 80, whatever it was. It was below 100. So. Oh, man, it was real bad. Yeah, and so uh, that's why they rolled blue, and I went to play with them at first, and then I started rolling over here on Force Beta weekend, and I immediately transferred all my shit off blue and came straight over here. I was all in after the first weekend. So I think Force Beta might have been the best thing that ever happened to the red server. Yeah, that was a good thing. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, there's a reason we didn't shut off Red. And some people think that reason is because we didn't want Red to interact with Blue. And some people think it's because we wanted people to go to Red. But I can tell you, we didn't want people to go to Red instead of go to Beta. We wanted people to go to Beta. Nilbog, if you're listening, you promised me Beta would be up soon. I'm holding you to that. Mm. So, Garter... Were there any guilds before Good Guys? Yeah, I was in Fresh. Okay. Joined Fresh at like level 5 in Crushbone and kind of worked my way up through the ranks and I was their raid leader for the last couple of months. A plus. A plus. I'm getting ahead of myself though. You said something that piqued my interest. Did you say you played PvP on live? Yeah. What, what server did you play on, sir? I played on Ralos and Talon. Oh, I'll, I'll give you kudos for Ralos, but you get zero respect points for Talon, Zach. <laughs> Unless you weren't in Pandemonium, then I'll tip my hat to you. Oh, no, man, I was I was no neckbeard back then. I was, like, 15 just playing after, high, after school and stuff, man. Um, that's not an excuse. You should have dropped out and been really committed to EverQuest. That's why, that's why your life is the way it is, sir. Yeah, man, I would say that I'm probably more immersed now than I've really ever been. It's uh, it's kind of cool having, you know, the ability to do the, the high-end stuff now. It's fun. Uh, being older definitely has its its pluses and minuses. Like, there's things that aren't... You are you can get more deep in EQ, but there's also much more important shit that you have to do as a grown-up. Like, when, you know, I was 17 when EverQuest came out, and so I was doing things and i had to hide all this from my friends and sometimes i would make the conscious decision like i'm just not going out this weekend because we're going to spend eight hours on a wall and hate on friday night and then we're going to spend eight more hours on a wall and hate saturday night and that was my weekend but now i can't not go to like work i can't not go to certain family functions i can't just be a uh an irresponsible teenager. <clears throat> and I bring that up because it's something I read on the forums a lot about people complaining that things should be easier because they're older now. I don't think things should be easier. I think Red Server, to be quite honest, is easy enough. I think you guys have an insane XP bonus. And... And that's it. Unless you're playing a cleric, I feel red is easy as shit. So, I mean, if any of you want to feel free to tell me why I'm wrong about that, you can jump in. Or not. You could just agree with me. We can move on to the next thing. What was that? Uh, <laughs> why, why a cleric? I was spacing out. Oh, clerics don't do anything. I've seen clerics in on red. They are just cannon fodder by themselves. Your PvP strategy is log out or fucking run away. 
Well, clerics are big game changers, but a lot of people don't like to play them because you don't get the glory, you don't get the YT fucking... You know, you're not on the leaderboards and shit, but clutch healing and it's like... It's you might not important. be on the leaderboards, but you're important. I mean... Oh, you're very important. Even if you're not a big raiding guild, any kind of group PvP, you want you want clerics there. I just I don't that, understand that? why people wouldn't want to play them more, I guess. Maybe I Probably underestimate the leaderboard. Maybe. No glory. maybe, maybe I'm underestimating how much you guys value the yellow text in the leaderboard here. But Oh, well, they explained to me how important the yellow text is. <laughs> Oh, man, I wish you could have, like, logged that conversation and shared it with me. Yeah. Because I would have loved to hear that one. Death by any other means is fine. Gong Show, explain to me why the yellow text is so important. Uh, it's just a, a dick measuring thing, you know? You want your dick to be the biggest. You want to fucking show people why your dick's the biggest, and YT is really the only way to do that. <laughs> So it's just your guy's version of whipping it out and throwing it Yeah, the you table. can't be walking around with a fucking small dick, dude. Oh. But what about Ladies what about the really good clerics who are really good clerics but just get no recognition because... Small dick. No YT wow. small dick. Wow. That is rough. That is rough. It's talking to you, git. <laughs> what about... Oh, no, I'm not even going to go there. I'm not even going to go there. Gong Show. Hi. Hi, buddy. Tell me a little bit. Uh, tell me a little bit about yourself for these people. They don't know you. How long have you been EQ emulating? How long have you been on Red? And give me your history. Uh, been playing EQ emulator for a while since VZDZ 1.0. I guess whenever that was. Long time ago. That was seven, a long eight years time ago. Time ago. Was that Virulent no. Heresy or was that 2.0? Uh, I think that was 2.0. I was in Heresy on VZTZ, so it's been probably seven or eight years. It's, uh, it's disgusting to think about, actually. Right, you've been around longer than I have. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not something that I'd like to to brag about, you know. But yeah, I played on Talonzac on live, and I can't seem to shake the EverQuest addiction. It'd be nice if I could, but... You know why? Right? <clears throat> it's because nobody will make a game like EverQuest anymore. They're yeah, trying. pretty much. You look at the numbers. You look at the number of subscribers that EverQuest maxed out at, and you look at the, the next big MMO, World of Warcraft, which happens to be the biggest MMO ever, and you look at those numbers, and everybody's trying to get those fucking numbers. And and the problem is you're not. And in their brains, they're like, oh, we got to cater to all this fucking crying and complaining, and we got to make it easy as shit, because if it's easy... Think of all the people that will play instead of people that will be like, I don't want to play a game, it's too hard. And and games should be challenging. There should be some kind of challenge, be it through PvP, be it through the the PvE content. There should be something. And, and a lot of games don't do that anymore. A lot of games fucking don't do anything uh, forcing social activity anymore either. I mean... Oh, yeah, it's all instant gratification stuff and instances. If you... Uh, like, I, I would dare somebody to try to just solo to 60 on red and, like, play that character. Like, you can't. On blue, either. Like, at a certain point, like, you're not going to be able to progress your character anymore without other people. Um, sure, there's classes that can solo very easily... But there's some classes that literally cannot achieve max level on their own. And I think that's an important thing. I don't nobody logs into EverQuest because the content is so unbelievably out of this world. You log in day after day for fucking what, eight years? For eight years because of the people, I imagine. Because of your guildies, because of your friends probably even because of your enemies like that shit matters you 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 form real bonds with these people because you have to rely on each other and you need each other and and other mmos don't do that i've never ever ever felt like i needed other people in an, uh, another another mmo or another game and yeah it's very true I think I think it's I think it's sad. I think it's very sad because if anybody would just uh, 
do that just make a, a social or community kind of dependent MMO you might not hit 14 million subs but don't build a game that fucking requires 14 million players to be successful you know manage your, your how much money you sink into this game and and plan realistically one of the one of the really good things is like P99 we don't make money we don't charge money. It's 100% free forever and ever and ever. And because of that, we don't give a shit about things like not making money. And so we can say no two boxing or we'll just ban your accounts. And we can say no RMT and no third party software and no of this or that or we'll just ban your accounts. Because it really doesn't matter if there's a thousand people playing here or two thousand people playing here or ten thousand people playing here or just Nilbug running around trying to make dragons work. It, it really doesn't matter. All of our lives pretty much stay the same. But every other game can't do that. And I read the day... Oh, dear Daybreak Forum moderators, please approve my forum account. My forum name is Sirkin. I made it real nice and simple and easy for you guys. I'm starting to take it as a personal slight. Pretty soon, I'm just going to start creating more random forum accounts for the sake of science to see if they get approved. Thank you. That is all. Um, I've been reading the uh, EverQuest forums, and a lot of people there, I'd say, I'd say at least half the people there complain about boxing. And they, they think boxing is the devil, and they think it's the worst thing for the game, and it, they are like, oh, Daybreak, you should give us... A second server, one that doesn't allow boxing so all the boxers can have their their boxing server. And I'm curious, I'm curious what you all think of. I know I asked some people last week about this, but I have new people and it's one of those things I am definitely always curious to hear about. And Gong Show, two boxing opinion, six boxing, all the boxing, any boxing, multi-boxing. How do you feel about it? Uh, honestly, I don't mind two boxing. If it was legal, that is, I wouldn't mind it. I think on VZTZ it was nice because you could just play whatever tune you wanted and then you could have a support character loaded up. Uh, it does become problematic in PvP. You always have a shitter tune kind of laying out there to get smacked up where mm -hmm. you have to slash Q. Uh, and it does take away some of the grouping aspect. I know you were touching on the social aspects of EverQuest and how, uh, and how people play and they want to meet people and shit like that, but I guess at this point on R99, there's a lot of people that kind of want to, want to progress, and they're not really playing as much for the social aspect early on. I think it would help in that regard, but uh, maybe in the end game it would still be kind of messy. So uh, I don't mind it. I'm kind of indifferent to what it is or what you know what the rolling on it should be. But as far as people two boxing illegally, it kind of sucks. But eh, whatever. If two yeah. boxing is the worst that people are gonna do, then it's fine. I'd rather people two box than use MQ and shit. A plus. Uh, Tam Tam. Two boxing? Two boxing. Oh, or man. six boxing, you know, multi boxing in general. Uh, well, I actually got caught two boxing on blue. I don't know. Dirty, dirty. Yeah, it dirty. was bad. I was power leveling my own tune. Was it it wasn't until, like, after I got caught and served the time that I realized it is pretty shitty because I was kind of doing, like, a, my own camp and being kind of a hermit not hanging out with any of the guildies and stuff well yeah and, yeah i mean it definitely decreases some of the social aspect in that regard um here on red it's kind of a different animal like people use it for entirely different means they're not like just power leveling themselves or like you know sitting somebody in chardock ae they're porting each other around and having like uh out of range healers you know where they can just run to and that's kind of it's kind of bull, bull crap i don't yeah. like it i'm i'm against it now like i saw the light <laughs> <laughs> i know uh gong show can attest to this back on vztz they allowed two boxing and literally everybody had a damn druid bot for buffs and ports and it was just ridiculous like there was no point for anyone to even play a druid because Everybody had their own. Nobody needed one. Right. And I can't I complain, though. I had a, 
a shaman, a pocket shaman. So I always had shaman buffs for my monk, which was A+. <laughs> <laughs> uh, even on VZTZ, I, oh, you know what? I did kind of box after a bit. My one friend, he had a druid and he quit. <clears throat> and I was like, I don't care. I'm using this druid for ports and buffs. And you know what? I was I was a bad person. I was a bad person, but I too have seen the light. And there's always the argument that now I'm sure this has much more to do with the the content being much better and P ninety nine just being worlds better when it comes to correct items and mobs and stuff. But the the red net or uh, VZTZ max population ever was like three hundred and thirty people, and that was with two boxing. And Red ninety nine beats that with, uh, well, has beaten that without two boxing. And I I think the boxing I really truly believe that the boxing the no boxing rule is a is is a rare thing that you don't find in other games, and I think it attracts a lot of people. And I, personally, am glad we don't allow it. And I, if it was up to me, I would straight up ban people for two boxing on the very first offense. So is there is there anybody on red that you think maybe does it and gets away with it? So many people. So many people, Tam Tam. If yeah. I could ban people for things that I know happen and not just things that I can prove are happening, red would be a completely different landscape. But when they go crying to Rogan and then Rogan comes to me and he's like, why did you ban this per these peoples? And I'm like, because I know this person's dirty. Hmm. He's like, that's not good enough. Like That is not acceptable. And he overrides your ruling just like that. Just like that. If I don't have proof or evidence to back up something that I said happened, yeah. Yikes. Yeah. I went through... Uh, uh, we're just going to go to Garter. Garter! What's your thing on uh, on multi boxing? Um, I never was a boxer. I never really liked it. Um, you know, if people are gonna box, it's a free kill for people that know what they're doing. Really. Um, besides the pocket buffing, I mean, uh, personally, I'm against it. I'm. I think it's shit. I think it ruins the social aspect of the game as well. Mm -hmm. I agree with you on everything you just said. You know, Mia. Yes. I, I already know your opinion on this, but why Boxing don't... Boxing is the devil. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but how do you feel about the the punishment for it? Do you think it's good 30 days for first offense and then yeah. banned for second, or do you think it should be banned for the first offense? No, I, I like the 30 days because, oh, I mean, our goal is own. to stop boxing. It's not to, like, punish people forever. We just want them to stop boxing, so... 30 days, hopefully, that is a strong enough punishment that you won't want to do it again. Especially knowing that it's a ban next time. Yeah, I think 30 days is pretty pretty harsh, but I, I just think... Well, it, when you consider it's 30 days and then ban, you know, it, you, you have to make your point clear in that 30 days, they're not going to get another chance. A lot of people still think they will. <laughs> I've seen I so many petitions where like I I okay. know I know it's my second offense, but I promise I won't do it a third time. Tam Tam quit. Did it, was it me that caught you, Tam Tam? Yeah, yeah. Your test was very <laughs> difficult. <laughs> I'm sorry. You asked me to you asked me to run in circles and stuff, and so I I called my girlfriend over, and I was like, oh, I was like, you have to reply to her tells and say all this crap, and she's like, I don't know what I'm doing, and. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I always, I always, you know, say things like, you know, <laughs> you make your wife run over to the computer to yeah. do this, you know. Yeah, you made me feel pretty guilty. <laughs> uh, I deserved it. Oh, you know, me. Yeah. I and I, you know what? I have made friends with boxers that I've caught, and you know, like for the thirty days after, they're playing another account. They're just whining to me, and I'm like, you know, you can do it, and. <laughs> <laughs> so. well, I didn't do anything like that. No. <laughs> but. Oh, well, that's that's two boxing. I don't know. I know I'm still the only staff member who uh, 
who uh, who uh, thinks it should be a perma ban, and maybe that's just because when I first came to P ninety nine, that's how it was, and that's kind of like what I <clears throat> excuse me what I got used to. But uh, I'm literally the only person on staff who feels that way, and so I don't think it will change. Oh, chat room people, I'm sorry. I've been absolutely ignoring the shit out of you this evening. Hmm. I don't even think I've looked at this monitor until this moment. But I will say, if you put at Circin P99 in your question, it highlights it on my screen, and it will definitely get my attention. So if you have questions, you should fire them off now. And they can be questions for me. They can be questions for Garter, Gong Show, Tam Tam, Unomia. Or they could just be general questions, and we can all hit them. That's, uh, that's fine, too. Tiggles, there was no TMO slight. I gave TMO its own uh, stream, like, last week or two weeks ago. And so I feel, if anything, uh, good guys in Empire should be like why are we why don't we get our own stream why is it why tmo get their own things so that's that's your thing um all the wine wants to know about more free-for-all zones i guess that's a question for the three mm. players here how do you guys feel about free-for-all zones should there be more of them should there be less of them how are they working I think it's pretty cool. I don't know. I think uh, Seb, along with the planes, is a, a good aspect of the game. Um, I don't know. Maybe make uh, like KC FFA. I think that would help a lot. I mean, there's, there's a lot, a lot of, spy of bots uh, and out of range yeah, stuff going on there. Always for the spies. Big yeah. Yep. Yeah, I was actually in KC an hour or two agreement hours ago. On that. And I noticed there was out of range people just kind of hanging around, putting eyeballs on everyone and everything. You should explain the free for all zones. Well, one of you nerds, jump in, explain it. You know me, you can explain it. I don't know. Oh, I don't even know what you're talking about. Garter or Gong Show, explain free for all zones. Uh, it's pretty self explanatory. It's just a zone once you zone in, doesn't matter the level range, anyone can attack anyone. Currently, I think there probably like should be more, a, though. Um, I think anywhere there's a raid target, there yeah. should be uh, FFA, really. That's kind of what I was going to say. But then again, I guess you have to worry about the people leveling up. Like, say you make EJ a free-for-all zone, and Sev's there. People get fucking shanked cutting across there to COM. Not that it's a big deal. I mean, it's red. You need to fucking learn at some point. And the 40s that... and shit, that's good. We have an EXP bonus, man. I mean, you can get 60 in, you know, a week and a half for really trying. You know, if you're not a neckbeard, maybe let's say it takes you a month. It's still not that long, so. Oh, man, yeah, no, I know people who've hit, who've hit, uh, was it 60? I know people that have hit 60, many people in, in under a month on red. Oh, those so are not definitely are possible. Fast. Yes, they are. So what do you guys think about making Chardock an FFA zone? Yeah, your name. I'd like it. Yeah, Chardock. KC and Chardock would be very nice. KC definitely should be FFA. What zones are still FFA right now? The Plains and Seb. That's it? Yeah. Oh, interesting. I thought it was a couple more than that. All right. I could see, well, like, it you used know, to Howling be, Stones like, Soul B and, and shit. Soul B, yeah, even... That would be... That'd be a little rough. A plus. A plus. How about um, in Velius, what plans do you guys, what uh, zones do you guys plan on having FFA? Mm. I don't know if I can talk about that. Mm. Oh. But it's definitely, uh, it's definitely a thing. I just, I don't think I can talk about it. It's one of those Velius details that I'm not sure of, so I'm just not going to say anything at all because I don't want to get in trouble. Because let me tell you something, there's nothing in this world worse than when Nobog gets you on Skype and is and you're in trouble. Um is that it? Is that it on the FFA zone? So are we done there? Well, it sounds like we're all kind of in agreement. Uh all right. more definitely K C. Alright. Brandinamo. Brandinamo? Whatever. 
Uh, he wants to know official stance on Norath maps. I'll tell you, our official stance is you shouldn't use them. And when we, uh, uh, in, a, in a perfect world, we would flag your account for using it and we would ban it. We removed maps from the game for a reason. And we don't feel they belong in the game. Make your own maps. Go to EQ Atlas. I mean, it's just it's just a thing. It's just one of those little things. Um, why what is... I like to do is print out the EQ Atlas maps. And I put them in a three-ring binder, you know, <laughs> in the sleeves. And I have that right next to my computer. And I just leaf through. And, and it's, it's kind of a nice tool to have. I suggest everyone. Uh, I'd recommend you all do that. It's, it's very important. I used to print out the spell lists for my uh, characters off Caster's Realm, and I yeah. had them in a three-ring binder. I really did. It was Smart. Great. I used to print out like the quests I was doing and keep them in these little folders, and I could just slip through and find whatever I was doing. It was wonderful. It was absolutely wonderful. I was way too immersed in this game. Way too immersed. What happened to Caster's Realm? Why is that not a thing anymore? We don't know. No I don't know. I feel like Caster... Like, I never used Probably Alakazam. Probably because it's 2015. <laughs> and we're playing EverQuest still. <laughs> Maybe. Did they ever do other games, or were they only EverQuest forever? Does anyone know? I'm not even sure. That's Are you talking about Varent? Right? What's that? Are you talking about Varent? No. I think he's talking about that website. Yeah. Caster's... Yeah. Talking about Caster's Realm. The website. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Okay. Uh, why is Chopper still banned? I don't even know what Chopper is banned for. Uh, <laughs> Sammy Sung wants to know, <laughs> when am I guesting for you? I feel like you've been on. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe. If Sammy Sung is Sector, I feel like he's been on. And I feel like I got a lot of shit for bringing him on. Uh... Gunaku. Gunaku wants to know why does Red still have the ridiculous experience bonus? And I personally, like, there, I don't have, no one has a legit answer for that. But I personally think it's because Red is so top heavy that what we're trying to do is just get people to, like, new players. We're trying to get them to where the majority of the rest of the player base is. Because, like we said before, EverQuest is a very community-heavy, dependent game. And we're trying to get you with that community. What do you guys think about the XP bonus? Is it... I know I talk a lot of shit about it, but... Good? Bad? Too high? Too low? What do you guys think? Uh, Garter, I'll start with you on that. Uh, well, the EXP bonus is what keeps a lot of the people that come here and just kind of try to test the water out. That's uh, what gets them to stay. Um, it's a big yeah. difference between uh, blue and red in that regard. In blue, you know, you can AOE Chardock or something like that. You, so those last 10 levels go quick, but that's a lot harder to do on red. So, Is it really quick, though? I mean, it's plus pop. I think uh, that's what's important. So. Yeah, that's true. Anything that brings people to red servers is a plus red server gets a bad rap but I th I, a lot of people who actually play it and don't just go off shit they hear or shit they read in the forums they like it like i mean if you like pvp if you don't like pvp at all you're probably not going to enjoy red server no matter what but if you actually do like pvp and maybe you play it on an eq pvp server but then you started on blue because Red 99 didn't exist, and now you've been on blue for so long, you're like, uh, just not having fun. Go to Red Server. There's, there's a lot of dumb shit on blue that doesn't exist on Red Server. You don't have to wait in lines. You don't have to, you don't have to deal with uh, class rating system things. You just, you just kill people and take their things. <laughs> Not literally, because we don't have item loot, but you know what I mean. You kill people for for fighting a mob, or for a camp, or for a dragon. I wish there were more guilds competing uh, for dragons. I mean, I know there's just not enough population to support as, as many guilds as blue, per se, but 
I do like how Blue has a, a good amount of guilds that are all capable of doing things. And on Red, you're really looking at two or three guilds. And and really two. I'm being generous to TMO because they don't have a, a mostly level 60 guild yet. They're still up and coming. But uh, hopefully, you know, they get there and then we'll have a three a three faction server. And I think a three faction server will be great. I know maybe two of you said you played on Talon Zek, and I'm imagining that turned out the same way as Valen Zek did, where where uh, it was lighties and darkies and cross teamers. But yeah, uh, pretty much. Yeah. Um, I think that's I think three way PvP at least three uh, teams maybe four so much better than two. And when you only have two big guilds, be it Nihilum and Azrael or Empire and Good Guys, it it's it's not the same. One guild or faction is stronger than the other, and they just kind of put their foot on the other guy's throat and keep it there. And with three, that can change. The smaller ones can work together. Backroom political deals can be made. Faction C can wait for Faction A and B to fight and then go clean up whoever's left and steal whatever pop. All kinds of things can happen, and I like it a lot. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to that time. I just uh, I don't think that's it right now. We tried that for a little while, and it just uh, didn't work. Um, I mean, we put every other guild on the server together, and yeah, you know we're still not quite as big as the other guys yet. So, Well, you're going to have to create a propaganda machine to rival that of your competition. I think the good guys have the most propaganda going for them. Yes, but they're, they're it's kinda... not the right kind of propaganda. Oh yeah, they're definitely shooting themselves in the foot. I mean... Everyone knows like Form Max Quest is its own meta, all. though. That doesn't even really represent the game in a lot of ways. It's, well, we you know, know that. It's a bunch of guys shitting, shitting up the image of the server, honestly, in a lot of ways. Yeah, I mean, we know it what it... We know it is what it is. But if you're just Googling shit one day because you're bored and you're like, oh, classic EverQuest, PvP, and Project 1999, Red 99 comes up, and you're like, holy shit, what is this thing? And then you go to the forums and you read a couple threads by a couple colorful forum members we have, and you're like, wow, this is just the worst cesspool of people ever. And then you X the page and you never, ever go back. It is pretty shitty. I, I will say that one of the biggest detriments to Red 99 is the forums. It's fun to, you know, shit around and talk shit and do whatever, but it really is, uh, you know, whatever happens on the forums is really not indicative of how the server's going, how the climate is, how the guilds are. It's just a, like a complete subset of retards that post, you know. It's literally the same fucking 10 people that just like to fucking post for the sake of posting, and they just look like fucking dumbasses. Uh, I feel like every time I look at the forum, it's degrading into a bigger piece of shit than it used to be like five months ago. But that's just me. I told Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I was going to stop posting as much on the forums and just try to post short factual statements and leave it at that. And I would no longer post popcorn gifts or call people pieces of shit <laughs> or ask them if they were <laughs> retarded. Yeah, That's I mean, it's it's I tough. Made. You know, we might have a couple more personalities on our side, but, I mean, you look at the guys that uh, that really are the most persistent personalities there, and, I mean, you can see it from both sides. We can't just say that one side's worse than the other. I really think they're both terrible on the forums, honestly. Oh, and I will, too. From a new person's perspective, you know, I came to this server with no biases, and I've formed all my own opinions based on the experiences I've had here, and, uh, you know, that's... I started from a, what was going to be a third faction guild that didn't have any preferences really. Um, so, you know, I think from, from that newcomer's perspective, I think both sides look terrible on the forums and, uh, it, a lot on one side, it comes from one of the guild leaders on the other side, it comes from a horde of people that aren't officers, but, uh, the numbers make it seem pretty bad. So I just think people need to stop career posting on the forums and play the game. <laughs> all right, Carter. So that all that being said, if there are people who are on the fence about red, what would you say to 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 I guess balance the scale and make them actually wanna wanna try it out and play there? 
just play with your pals and fight a lot and just but what get if you don't have pals hard. what if you're coming here by yourself that's what i did i came here by myself i leveled up by myself without my buddies and uh so make you know, they friends. They ended up dropping their accounts on me before I caught up to them. So. Mhm. Mm Sounds like our. But RMT. I'd say you know join join a leveling guild, find some buddies, and uh, stick with your buddies. You know, and uh, you know we we moved from fresh to good guys, but we still have a core of about twenty five people that uh, maybe from the original forty or so that are still around right now. And uh, you know that core doesn't come apart. You know that's what is happening when you come to a new server is basically. You know, forming that core that you know Gong and those guys have had from the other servers eight years ago. Well, this you know this is an opportunity to do the same thing, except you know hopefully you don't make it a career and you just do it for a couple of years and get over it. So, a plus. What are you trying to say, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Shots fired. Real life, real life is greater than EverQuest. Maybe, maybe for some people, but for some other people, I don't know. I don't know actually. I'm starting to think for some people. Norath might be better. But, you know, those are the type of people who hit women in the head with maces that they've crafted oh at God. home. <laughs> and people who bring guns in parks. Yeah. Those types of people. We won't name names because people will get all butt hurt. But, uh, we, we know. We know who we're talking about. Um... Silverwinds wants to know any word on how long it'll take to fix the recent bug issues. I know I'm behind on chat and you probably might not even still be here. But if you are, I'm going to tell you, you got to be way more specific because I don't even know if the devs know what bug you're talking about. But if it's something that can be exploited, you shouldn't say it here. You should post it in a petition and then either Unomia or someone, probably Unomia, let's be realistic here, she'll put it to uh, market to the attention of whoever needs to see it. If it's not I something... He's talking about the speed bug. The Celos speed yeah. Oh, I have heard about, about that. that. What was that? Ah. J-Boots and Celos mixed together for, like, super magic? If a bard casts Sow on you, you have Celos speed no matter what until you zone? That is ridiculous, yeah. You know me, remind me to tell Hanar on that, about that. I feel like I'm extra retarded tonight, and I don't know if, like, it's because I didn't <laughs> sleep a lot last night or what, but I promise, like, I am not, like, j like sitting here just wrecked on drugs or drunk or drinking or any of those things, but, like, I just, I feel that I'm just not on the ball, I'm not on the top of my game tonight, but, uh, we're moving on. Yeah, definitely. Somebody, you know me, I'll tell Hanar or remind me to tell Hanar or Nilbog. That works too, but just to make sure they I'm are aware. Sure uh, how do you feel about bards who get yellow texted outdoors? Oh, this is going to be a fun one. Assailant, you asked a wonderful question. Guys, I want you to answer this question in one word. You get one word to answer this. How do you feel about bards who get yellow texted outdoors? Starting with Gong Show. You say one word? One word. Small dick. One word. <laughs> All right. No space. Uh, garter. AFK? All right. Question mark? Tam Tam. Yikes. Must be. <laughs> you know, Mia, do you have a word to describe bars that get PK'd outside? No. No? I'll take not, that. Not that they would appreciate. Aw. I the like it. The best way to deal with bards <laughs> used to be whenever... Uh, LD people ran at like supersonic speed and did crazy damage. You just wait until they laid a uh, a chant on you, and mm. you disc and slash Q, and you just <laughs> speed after them, and you come back and you're alive and they're dead at your feet. Oh, that's so shitty. It's a good way to deal with them, I was... but you can't do that anymore. Mm. <laughs> I don't even want to tell a story that I was going to tell because I used the same name here that I used in that. Uh, da, 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 da. So that's the answer to your bard question, assailant. Olaris wants to know, what are you more stoked for? Final Fantasy VII full remake, which I didn't even know was a thing until this exact moment. Shimanu three or Uncharted 4? And I'm going to tell you right now, it's Final Fantasy VII full remake, because I didn't even know that was a thing. I haven't, I don't even think I've played a Final Fantasy since seven. But I remember I had PlayStation 1, and that thing was three discs long, and I was like, holy shit, this might be the most epic game ever. 
You all know you played Final Fantasy VII, don't lie. Yeah, I did. It was good. It's <laughs> Everybody good played it. Fucking... I didn't. <laughs> well, you know what? Your life is not going to be complete when you die. I played Mario Kart. That's not the same. Yeah. That fucking female dies, and it makes you sad. Cloud has to do all these things where I'm pretty sure he's... He is, uh, uh, what's the word? Sexually violated or, or something Ooh. in one level where he dresses as a female and has to, like, lay in bed with people. And there's all kinds of weird things that you have to do. It's not good. But that, that, looking past that, Final Fantasy VII, A+. Plus. Uh, did Nilbog play on a team PvP server on live? If so, I think I found a screenshot of him getting killed by a famous troll. Yo, go plop. I do not know. I honestly do not remember what server Nilbog played on. But I really, truly feel like I'm the only one who played on a PvP server on live. Um... Benjamin Sagers, I don't even know, but I hear it. I hear it as the words are coming out of my mouth, and it's it's bothering me a little bit. Gong Show, I have a question for you from Vishan EQ. He wants <laughs> to know why your guild, uh, wait, yeah, why your guild can't successfully enter Trakanon's lair without nine million shrooms. Uh, I mean, I just like I like hanging out with the shroom people in in Zeb. Like that's a stupid who question. Like really. my shrooms? Yeah, that's that's like a really stupid question because who doesn't like to hang out with them? You never got weird in high school. Yeah. <laughs> that's kind of it's kind of weird when you know they're not there and then they are there when Empire shows up. I think it's a valid question. No. Hey, every time we show up, you guys always train track, so it's, I don't know. Even playing field, I guess. I mean, that sounds like an admission of training to me. That's no, what that I, sounds I mean, like. As a druid, I'm not training anybody. <laughs> That'd be impossible. Druids can train. You just got to play better. Or, I guess, play worse, depending on what yeah, side of the fence. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, druids can train. They're faster than other things. Oh. Oh. Lion so, court. So... If, yeah. Before you move on, what do you guys uh, what do you guys think about that GMs and stuff? Um, you know, there's a there's a lot of questions about you know, petitions not go, getting answered or whatever, and there's a lot of trains in the biggest PVP battles. I mean, I've personally taken place in two of the biggest PVP battles on the server, and both of them uh, had a lot to do with trains. We played big roles in both of them. So I mean, we all know that both sides do it here and there. Um, you know, you can't, sometimes those old sound and Zach guys go back to their old ways, and sometimes people just get butt hurt, and they start training shit, so. Oh, it definitely I mean, how do we How do we get that to stop for the for the, the big fights? I mean, how do we just, what can you we do can't. as a team? You can't. We have to do something. You guys Or we, or are... we can legalize them. We can, we can also just say they're fine for raids. I we mean, can do that too. I'm, we're never going to legalize training. Let's not legalize training. trains. Let's not. PvP doesn't involve mobs. Like that's that's it's, well, it's, ideally it doesn't. It's it not always supposed to. Ball. It should it always player versus player is what that stands for. Not player versus player with an assist from the mushroom men. Not player versus player with this factor. Just player versus player, and so we're not going to legalize it. But uh, you guys aren't willing to do what what should be done to people who maliciously and repeatedly train the competition and that's just straight up blacklist them i don't think we have people that maliciously train though like i know honestly if i wanted to bring a bomb of a train on people i would gather up the entire zone and drop it on someone's head and then just fucking laugh uh, you know oh yeah but people like, there's aren't a big that difference stupid. between a real bomb of a train and then just mobs getting tacked on yeah no i hear you but i mean that's just because people aren't stupid if you're gonna lag bot murder some people in rust you're not going to shoot five guys at once. You're going to pick off probably one or two of their best shooters. Be like, no, I'm not hacking. That's just, you just didn't see where I was shooting you from, bro. That's all that's going to be. 
<laughs> It'd be nice if there was more GM presence maybe during these battles just to see firsthand kind of what is going on. Um, I mean, the blatant training versus the, you know, oops, I ran into the faction castle and I got mobs on me. It's There's kind of a big difference. For sure, for sure. Uh, I will say it is really hard to find staff members for the red server. Um, I know well, it also you... doesn't help that the timers are like in 4 a.m. on the West Coast. <laughs> yeah, that's right. No, that doesn't Trying to get help. a volunteer to log on for that. <laughs> well, here's the thing, though. We do have we do have Aussie, and he's in Australia, and he's 13 hours ahead of me. And so you said 4 a.m. West Coast? East Coast? Look, I'm it's just going to say 4 a.m. Doesn't it's gonna matter. Be I'm going to say 4 a.m. my time. That is 7 p.m. Aussie time. That is prime <laughs> real estate yeah, for him really. to be on the game. Yeah, the Aussies and the Euros are stoked about it. Oh, I bet. I bet the Euros fucking love it. Hmm. I don't even know if Europa is aware that that's a thing. Because just with sheer numbers, they could probably move over to red. They pick should. up all the European players and and they'd be able to do things in the middle of the night when everyone else is sleeping. They'd probably... Yeah, everyone should come over to Red. Every, everyone from Blue. I think you might be a little biased. Take off the, the fucking life jackets and water wings and retard helmets. <laughs> <laughs> I will tell you, if Red 99 was a thing when I was playing on Blue, I either wouldn't have played on Blue or I would have played on both. Especially with all the downtime on blue. All you nerds who play on blue server, when you're staring at walls waiting for mobs to pop, you could be playing on red. Just saying. Exactly. That's not considered two boxing. It's different servers. You can play on both. You can actually play on beta as well when that comes back up. No bog, fix that. And, and then you could feel like you're three boxing, but without actually breaking any rules. Um. So I this is a conversation I was curious about since we're kind of on the weird spawn time. I've never had it with uh you know the other, the other guild or the GMs. Why doesn't uh, red have any variants like uh, blue? I'm just curious about that. The biggest reason red doesn't have variants is because we feel the majority of us feel that. Uh, Adding variants to red is only going to make the rich richer and the poor poorer. It requires around-the-clock tracking all day, every day. Um, and the smaller guilds just don't have that. If the smaller guilds know exactly where and when something is going to pop, they should be able to amass a, a competing PvP force for that, as opposed to having to rely on well, we've only got this amount of people. There are explosions going off outside. <laughs> and if you guys can hear that, I'm sorry. I don't know what is being blown up. But they're not respecting what I'm doing in here. Um, I got distracted by the explosion, and I'm sorry. But uh, I feel like I said enough to make my point. Oh, variants. I do remember. I just feel it would make the rich richer and the poor poor. I feel it would be much 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 easier of a system for a guild like empire with the amount of numbers and trackers and people that they can get to respond to a bat phone even if it's only 20 percent of the guild responding 20 percent of that guild is a lot of fucking people and if you're only going to get 20 percent of another guild to show up that they're, they're not going to have any kind of chance any kind of chance at all but well, to be fair, our numbers are kind of equal nowadays. But okay, fine. I guess Here the counterpoint it. to that would be that if um, all the timers are well known and what like what is currently the case, they're all stacked up on top of each other. I mean, they got split up a little bit most recently because the server going down. But besides that, it went down um, twice. So so it's easier for the big guilds to just stack all the timers on top of each other or, you know, space them out 20, 30 minutes apart and just run around and, and uh, monopolize content. Oh, for sure. They can I guess that's the mobs. counterpoint. That's what I'm saying. I'm just thinking it out, you know. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. think that's, that's the opposite. people used to do that on live, too. I mean... Yeah, it's classic. I'm just saying it's... Uh, 
you push mobs to, to time slots where you have the best chance to get them. But if a, if a mob is important to you, at least since the merge that formed your current guild, if, if a mob is important to you, prioritize it. I mean, if you know what they're going to go after for it first, go after go after something else if you don't feel you can beat them that evening. And if you do, then go after them. But uh, we just feel, like I said, we just feel as a staff that you guys knowing when and where exactly something's going to pop gives you the best chance. Honestly, I think repops, more repops give you the best chance because that's everything. And, it, and they don't get to space it out the way you just described, you know, 30 minutes in between mobs. We do tracking on, then we'll do VS, then we'll do Hoshgar, then we'll do this and that. And, and I think that's dumb. <laughs> I thought it was really dumb when uh, a certain guild had pretty much every raid target on Sunday. And people would just log in once a week, kill their mob, and then log off for a week. I thought that was ridiculous. I feel like, you know, that's, that was the case. There's pros and cons to here both. as well. Because if yeah. you sit here and you're like, well, Sirkin, talk to me about variants on blue, I'll sit here and sell you variants as a good idea. Like, I mean, there's definitely pros and cons to both. Um, it might just be for science. That could be, you know, that's the answer we're going to go with. We're doing it for science. We do it one way on blue. We do it a different way on red. We're collecting data, and we're gonna see. Uh, we're gonna go over the results and see which one we like better one of these days. Yeah, I'm that, fine with I'm no. I'm telling variant. you, shit is exploding outside. I don't it's understand. Good, it's not even July yet. It's not even <laughs> the end of June. Oh. Uh, da, 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 skipping that. If you guys have questions that belong in the petition form, or if you're just straight up asking your petition, you should know I'm gonna ignore it. Um, Zings88 wants to know at what age did Gong Sho know he was destined to lead a guild on Red 99? That's a good question. That's that is a <laughs> solid weird. question. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I don't mind. I don't mind leading, but it is like a it does kind of feel like a chore sometimes. But it's fun. It's rewarding. You gotta I don't know learn when. to delegate. Maybe. That's that's what leadership is. It's all about delegating yeah. shit to other people. I feel like there's people who are going out of town soon and like just won't be here for the Fourth of July, or maybe there's some other like ethnic holiday today that and they live in my neighborhood those people and they're celebrating but they are blowing shit up and it is absolutely distracting shit out of me um what's the official calling on loot and scoot can you call loot and scoot if there is no yellow tax the answer to that is no it's an astounding no you need yellow tax to call you loot and scoot because a the rest of the server has no way of knowing that you actually were killed and that you're not just a coward who bagged his stuff and pretended he's naked running around. And it helps us know that you actually died. And so, I don't care. There's people going to be like, whoa, I was in PvP and then this mob happened. I don't care. Worst case scenario, you're going to eat one PvP death if you want loot and scoot. And you're going to get yellow texted. And I know we just went over how retardedly important the yellow text is to you nerds but i don't care well, i guess i'll touch upon that then if um i guess what we would call that then would be the yt tax one thing that nylam used to do is if someone called lns uh they would make people pay a quote-unquote yt tax where you know if they didn't die in the mass pvp they would make anyone that didn't die take the death and then they would res them again I really don't believe in that because it's just kind of bullshit. But what bothers me too is calling LNS mid fight. Uh, I know it happens quite often for us. Uh, not for us. We don't call LNS too often or we don't have to really. But, um, you know, we'll be winning a fight. We'll kill half of the other force. And then they'll start calling LNS mid fight. Mm -hmm. And that's just a fucking headache. 
Um, you know, it's it's fine to honor it. I don't, you know, honoring LNS is great. It, I think the spirit of LNS allowing people to get their shit and move on is fine, but it creates a headache whenever you know certain people are just fucking middle of the fight and then their leader calls LNS and then they're just allowed to freely back off without any kind of penalty at all. That's kind of confusing and weird. I would say, and I know this is ridiculously impossible for me to ask, but always try to have someone running fraps. Because if if there's a big fight going on and a guild leader calls Loot and Scoot and people still die in the next, like, say, 30 or 40 seconds while the smoke is clearing, like, you shouldn't get in trouble for that. You shouldn't be suspended right. for that. You shouldn't be punished for that. And also, people shouldn't be calling Loot and Scoot in the middle of a fight. Because, oh, I know. We all know like how ridiculous that is it's to horrible. actually negotiate and enforce in yeah. just instantly on the spot in the middle of, of large scale PvP. You know, if it's small, well, we if it's like two there's... on two, fine. But when you're dealing with twenty versus thirty or something, that's not that's not gonna well, work. I don't, I don't think it happens in the middle of pitched battle, and I, I think you might be using the term middle of the battle a little loosely i think what it usually is is there's still people that aren't plugged or still people that are that are showing up late to the fight that are just in zone and i i have i have not once seen anybody call lns with 10 people standing um it just i i mean maybe you're gonna correct me but i don't think that's happened so i, I mean, don't, that's, I don't know if it's happened with good guys yet but it used to with Azrael quite frequently and i don't fault you I mean, I know they're your bros now, but they they never really had the best leadership or tacticians calling the shots, so <laughs> I don't fault you for that. But yeah, it, it's just, it's kind of awkward, you know, whenever that happens. Shots fired. Blowing shit up. I don't even, can you guys hear this? Yeah. Yes. Like, it's wow. just, it's just, they just don't even care. They just, zero shits. I bet Light would argue with you if you would have been allowed to come, Gong Show. Well, that's fine. That was their finale. And I'm sure Light would argue with him about just about anything that was put on the table. <laughs> I um, don't think that's not true. <laughs> uh, Zing still wants me to free Chopper, which I've heard a lot of. I'm actually going to look that up if I remember, because I don't even know why Chopper's banned. Or how long he's been banned for. I just know I've heard and seen Free Chopper for way too long. And now I'm curious. Um, <laughs> oh shit, this is a whole lot of words. Salem Orchid, I'm going to read all your words. Circuit, I liked what you had to say about games these days. Trying to compete with WoW by catering to the more casual players and watering down the difficulty. But it seems contradicting coming from staff on this server. Red 99 has been watered down so much for the sake of people playing. You took away the penalties for dying in PvP. You reduced the level range. You reduced the amount of FFA zones. And you increased the XP rates. Do you not feel... Whoa, chat move. Do you not feel those were implemented to get people to play on the server? I absolutely think all of that is true. Um... I, I, I don't even have a good answer for you on that. Other than science. We're doing one thing on blue. We're doing another thing on red. We're collecting data. We'll, we'll get back to you on it. Um, we tried things one way on red. It wasn't growing. Some staff felt it was because of the community. Some staff felt maybe the rule set was a little too hard. And so we made tweaks to both. As the population goes up. we like If, if we do a change and the population goes up. We're not going to undo that change unless... There's a real good reason to undo that change. Um, and, and yeah, we like when the population goes up. We want red to do good. We want red to thrive. I hate being in zones and like zones that shouldn't be empty and seeing that there's only one or two people in there. That shit makes me sad in my heart. So we need more people on, uh, on red. Whereas you look at Blue, where we recently broke 1,900 people. 1,900 individual concurrent players, by the way. How many people do you think sit AFK on Blue at any given time? Like 500-ish? 200 in that tunnel, at least. 
Yeah, I'd say anywhere between <laughs> two and four hundred people. Yeah, easy. I always feel like the numbers are skewed. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Blue is it's been established, and you know it's it's the bigger server, and you know more people like the easy route with no PvP. But easy the numbers route. are definitely. Whoa, slow down there. Yeah, PvP. Easy route. E whoa, time easy out. Route yes. when you have the uh, bonus experience. Hold on. Yes. Non PvP has always, always, always been the more popular choice. Right. If you look at the population of the three PvP servers compared to the population of all the blue servers, it's not even close. Like, oh, I know. Like you're never gonna see the same amount of people on a on a PvP server for EverQuest that then you'll see on a blue server. Just because I just feel like more... red gets shit here, but then people don't take into account that how many people are you know sitting in a corner jerking off or staring at a wall. Are fucking selling their shit in EC Tunnel like no one gives a shit about them. And they're just leaving their tunes AFK because there's no consequences. Alright, first of all, having 200 there, people like, in EC is as classic as it gets. Second of all... <laughs> yeah. Not red classic, but yeah. Well, no. No, we didn't AF We didn't even use G F or, uh, EC on Valenzac. We used GFA. And you did an AFK because nerds would kill you. Um... Uh, but yeah, blue server. It, I mean, if you guys ever like, if you guys ever think red server numbers will be like blue server numbers, you're fucking crazy. I'm I'm oh, hoping no, for like 500 people. That. If red can get 500 people, uh, I think I think it would be great. I think if you essentially could double what we have now, I think that's about as good as it's gonna get for red. And I yeah, think keep in it mind, everyone, lot. every number that you see on red is someone active, pretty much. There is no AFK. Oh, right, right, right. Absolutely. So that is kind of nice. But I will I say... Like it's lost in the shuffle sometimes. I won't say one server is harder or easier than the other server, but I will say blue is more competitive than red because you have, uh, you have multiple guilds. Like, you have lots of guilds going for various thing uh the same thing i mean and on blue or on red you really don't you have see i don't know things are different now because good guys but before good guys you really didn't you had you had really just uh one guild that wanted to try to get fucking mobs and but the we other overthrew guild... the last guild that was in position you know truth well i mean i could argue that a former staff member did that no, no, no. I mean, as whenever after Nylon disbanded, Azra was raiding uncontested mm. until we until we formed up and stopped them. It's not unheard of for another guild to until you to guys kind of come up and uh, went on a mass mass recruiting uh, rampage of of recruitingness. Yeah. Well, I mean, it worked, so I can't really talk shit about it. Yeah, it, I, one thing on uh, one thing on Red that's kind of prevalent all the time too is. Uh, the guild that's not winning seems to kind of always blame their failures on staff and the rule sets. You know, know. if it's not variants, it's AON nameplates. It's you know, this person's doing this, this person's training, this person, blah blah blah. You know, they they don't ever really look in the mirror and realize that they're surrounding themselves with, you know, shitty players and shitty environments where people don't want to flourish and create something, and then they just turn and point fingers on the forums, and it's I guess comes full circle then back to the forms being a piece of shit but you're not supposed to make shitty feel uh shitty players feel like shitty players you're supposed to teach them how to be better players oh you're I supposed agree. to teach them how to pvp and you're supposed to make them better and, i agree and doing that will make them loyal to you for fucking ever yeah, you're not supposed That's to just true. throw them out of the guild and be like oh you fucking suck get out of here like, you're supposed to help them and teach them, and that's what makes them stay with you, and that's what makes them love you, and that's what makes them keep logging in. I 100% agree. That's kind of the approach that we try to take. Well, that's the approach everybody should be taking, in my very, very humbled opinion. Uh, Sammy Sung wants to know if we're going to do more GM events and give out rewards and stuff. Yeah, hey. actually, I can tell you that there has been some some whispers amongst staff to uh, start doing some pretty cool scripted type events. We just now that Bellius is pretty much done, devs are gonna have a lot more free time, and uh, 
Oh, I'm going to give a quick shout out to Haynar because Haynar revamped the in-game petition system and you know me and me don't have to type out horrible things over and over and over and over again. We can just click on links. We can click on links to open them. We can click on links to delete them. Haynar, you will be sung about by bards throughout Norath forever and ever. Praise your name. I love Haynar. You guys have no idea. You know me. I know. I know you're happy about it. Yeah, I know I'm Morgan's real. happy about it. Everyone's happy difference. about it. It's 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 arguably the single greatest thing that has happened to GM Circuit. Mm, we'll say in the last year and a half. Like it's it's pretty amazing. Uh, let's see. I don't know what that is. Skipping, skipping. Yeah, Hainar is very talented, just in case anyone questioned that. He is, like, amazingly talented. Oh. Uh, people shouldn't be editing their models. But hey, there you go. We do have something in place for that. Um, if you are editing your stuff, I really hope you still have the original stuff, because you're not going to be able to log in with, with the incorrect files. Um... Is there going to be any punishment for that? or? I mean, if it was up to me, I would just ban you. You are absolutely not supposed to be editing. Uh, uh, I don't know exactly what they're editing. If it's just the character model or if it's the zone file or what. But you know what? You shouldn't be editing anything. Stop editing things. We're going to we're gonna do horrible things to you. It, it's tough, though, whenever you're, you're well-respected trusted leader is distributing it via your bad phone <laughs> you know well i don't know that's uh the rumors that i've heard i didn't receive it personally but it's not via our bat phone so i don't know what other app it might be but it's not our bat phone no it's not your bad phone it's it's Azrael's. yeah i mean unfortunately light's not here to defend himself against all these claims you guys are making against him <laughs> <laughs> oh man there's dozens of screenshots. Well, here's the thing. I don't want to. I don't want to talk shit about someone who isn't here to defend themselves. So That's I would kindly ask you to stop firing shots at light. Um. I never mentioned light. Well, whatever. Sound like people are incriminating. All right, light look. For himself. Look. Look. You know exactly who you're talking about. Don't be silly. We're moving but why, on. Why do you know? We're talking about light. I mean, we all know. We know. We're moving on. Um, the reason Vu Lork that I can't do that show, uh, stream repops is because players would lose their mind. I'd be giving away positions of people. Um, I could record it and play it later, maybe. But I also I don't control repops, and I have no heads up on when they're gonna happen. If I'm not in game to see the earth shaking, ground shaking message, I have no idea that there is a repop. And so a lot of times I just miss them. If I was in game, I would record it. Um, the other issue is repops cause more blue server petitions than any other single thing in the world. And so a lot of my time is spent babysitting on blue server during repops. Uh, Carter, I'm sure you were on blue long enough to have some idea of how horrible repops are. But VP uh, is Yeah, I mean, VP I lasted so about, about six weeks in their raid scene, and then I said, fuck that. It's really bad. It's horrible. I played it uh, 2011, and it was so much different. It was so much different. I don't know when it dawned on me. I was talking to somebody, and they were just kind of venting about like all the shit you have to do to be competitive now and i was listening and i was like you know what i don't even know if i would be in a, in a class c guild i might be in a casual guild because there's no way i'd be waking up for like 4 30 a.m bat phones and there's no way i would spend fucking 12 hours fucking on a on a, a call the hero mage just waiting for something to pop I would never, ever, ever do those things. And and they're just like, no, you have to do it. These nerds will bind sight on something, 
set up screen share on Skype and then just have guild members join the group Skype thing and they can all take turns tracking via screen share without actually having to have their character there. That's what it has digressed to on the blue server. And I would never do that shit. I would never ever do that shit. Oh, blue server. I don't even know. I don't even have words for what you guys are doing anymore. <laughs> um, Joel Careful Love wants to know, is there any way to get an account unbanned when it's been permabanned? It depends. Some accounts were permabanned for things that we don't ban for anymore. And so, for example, there was a petition for a guy who was banned for two boxing. It was his only ever offense. And that's a 30-day suspension now. So if I see something like that, I will unban the account. Um, I know there were a few accounts that Uthgard banned for RMT, and he wasn't willing to listen to the players. And those players later actually submitted proof of what happened, and I was willing to listen, and so those accounts got unbanned as well. But for the most part, a permaban is a permaban. I mean, we don't give them out very lightly, and... If you got one, you probably deserved it. That being said, unless you do something really horrible, we don't ban the person, we ban the account. And so if we ban your account, you're generally free to uh, make a new account and continue playing here. If you're not, we'll let you know that you're not. There's only like three people in the entire world who are not. Um... Skipping all of these things. Someone says something about mobs running at sow or cello speed. Is that a thing? Yeah. Bug form, guys. All of these things, when mobs are not doing correct things or you find bugs, we have this nifty place called the bug form. You guys should put your bugs there because the devs are not... Um, the devs are not guides or GMs and so they don't have access to the petition form and so if you put them in the petition form they're not going to see it you gotta put it in the bug form it's important it's how we fix things guys <laughs> people are talking about sea furies being ninja nerf we didn't do anything to sea furies uh, da, 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 da. nerds are complaining about the logic on variants Oh my God! The the Blackhawks won the Stanley Cup. It's over. Yeah. I said no way were they gonna win it tonight because they always have to get the money from the seventh game. But see, here's the thing. It's over. My buddy works at the United Center, and he needed them to win tonight because that means he gets tons and tons of money. Nice. Because everyone's happy, and so they drink more, and they give him money. Um. <laughs> How do you feel about all the griefers and Mistmore keeping people off the server? I think if I think if people are getting griefed in Mistmore, they should just go to a different zone. If you go they should to just places, send it to all the Karsten. Look, if you go to <laughs> like Crushbone, if you go to Unrest, if you go to Mistmore, if you go to the real popular places, you're going to run into those types of people. If you go to off the grid places like Befallen, Nagina, Ocean of Tears, you're gonna find less people. Obviously, don't do Ocean of Tears like Sea Fury level. I'm talking littler things. The Sirens uh, in between those two rocks. Uh, maybe the Gargoyles. That's off the grid shit. Griefers aren't going to go there because if there's no one there, it's a pain in the balls. They are... Well, go ahead. I want to add something. I When they complain what that there's training in Miss Moore, I go there. But the training is done at that point. I have to either see it you either have to submit screenshots that show what happened, which is difficult, or you have to run fraps. And I know what they're talking about, and I've not seen anything in the petition form with any of those things. So you know what you have to do. Yeah. I agree with everything you just said. Um, uh, Vomoda... This, this this is for everybody. 
He wants to know what we think about people who de-level their epic mage tunes to pad their PvP stats. <laughs> and so, Tam Tam, we're just going to start with you. What do you think about that? I think it's laughable. I'm sitting here laughing just thinking about it. I know exactly who he's referencing. Um, he did it. He got a lot of leaderboard points. It was impressive, the amount of noobage that he was wiping out with his level 46 epic mage pet and then he got back in range to 60 and got smashed and that was rewarding in itself <laughs> oh what about you gong show uh, i honestly don't know who that person is but just they must general. be a real idiot they must be they must be a huge <laughs> pussy like honestly i can't imagine who would actually do that on a red server and then I, I guess I heard they were talking talking shit. Is that what someone said? They were is that what you said, Tam Tam? Uh no, they're, I don't they're know. They're kinda gloating maybe? They they definitely seem to be gloating a little bit. <sighs> yeah, they were that's... very proud of their points. Yeah, well, level forty six PvP is fucking nothing, especially whenever you have an epic mage pet. Yeah, I don't know what to say. That's that's terrible. If I knew who that was, that would be disgusting. Hopefully they're not Empire. What about you, Garter? Uh, well, I mean, generally, deleveling characters is not something that I would do, but, I mean, people sometimes have a lot of time to play the game, and that's what they want to do with their character, I, I'm not going to tell them how to play the game. I don't care. I'll tell them how to play the game. Oh, wait, you know, Mia. What about yes. you? What's your opinion of well, that? It sounds really dumb to me. <laughs> but... It also, it has a... Oh, sorry. I, I mean, it sounds dumb. I would never do anything like that, but I guess it's a strategy. So You can farm T-Staffs with a level 46 Epic Mage out of range of 60 in KC. So. Oh, there's words for that, but I don't know if I can share them. I'm well, trying to make a KC FFA. Then there you I'll go. Problem solved. Yeah, that'll be good. Uh, work now wants to know if we would ever standardize the hitbox on all models. I don't even know what that means, but that's a dev question. If you mean like different size models having different size hitboxes, I don't know. I don't know. But if it's not classic, it's gonna be real hard to make Nilbog do it. It's 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 uh. He's not in the business of doing not classic things unless there's a way you can prove it really is for the greater good. Da, 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 da. Wolves are catching up to cello sowed bards. Well, wolves are fast. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that's appropriate. Because uh, getting an epic mage is so easy. Um, I imagine in some guilds it's easier than other guilds. I we played. just sold an epic mage, uh, an epic, a mage epic for 25k to an alt today. Or yesterday. Something like that. Oh man, I played a mage good on deal. live. There were two things that I just had the hardest time in the whole world getting. And one of them was so stupid, it was some stupid thing I needed from Soul A. And then the other one was the crown in sky because the guild I was with couldn't get to that fucking island. Oh, it was man. the most. It was a PvP server, and we didn't sell things to the enemy. Like we would brag about, like uh, despawning things. Like it. That's what we did. I know the darkies would be like, "Oh yeah, look at all this bard, druid, paladin, ranger gear. Delete, 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 delete." And. Uh, yeah, so I didn't I didn't get my epic on live for a real long time. It was sad. It makes me sad thinking about it. Oh, I don't want to think about it anymore. <laughs> oh, what what classes did you guys all play the same classes on live? What classes did you play on live? Did you do your epics on live? How are the epics here compared to live, quest wise? About as hard, easier. Is it only easier because it's fifteen, sixteen years old? Yeah, I think that's probably the case. Uh, a lot of people, well, anyone that's playing EQ Emu in 2015 is pretty much very knowledgeable with EverQuest. And I think it seems much easier. I don't think it really is. It's just the fact that everyone knows it inside and out. 
we've actually had people come to P99 and Red99 who have never played EverQuest Live. I didn't play live. Tam Tam never played live. No. Tam Tam, how in the hell did they <laughs> get you to play this game with these graphics in, in today's world? How? Uh, well, I'm pretty savvy at downloading stuff for free. And I saw I like, like an ad stuff. and it said, come play EverQuest Live for free. And they were offering, I guess, free play. Um, I had a friend in high school who used to play. So, and I actually used to make fun of him for it. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but I figured I would check it out, um, see what it had gotten to. Um, I went to my favorite torrenting site, found an excellent titanium client uh, file to download. I had no idea what I was doing setting it up, so I went into the like their forums the um, on the website I got it from, and there was somebody who laid out you know, a step-by-step -step process, and it led me to Project 1999, and so I just followed those instructions. So when I first signed on to Blue Server, I actually believed I was on the EverQuest Live server. <laughs> It wasn't until I got to like level 50 or something on my monk that I realized that I wasn't on EverQuest Live and <laughs> it uh, was very confusing. You're uh, adorable. <laughs> That's a good story. Yeah, I figured it out eventually. Um, Cause I was in, I was in, I can't remember the leveling guild that I was in on blue before I joined Taken, but mm -hmm. it was really like we, we raided Pa and it was, it was pretty fun. Um, then I joined Taken and it got more serious and then I realized like wait what's going on and kind of <laughs> told me oh yeah request just kind of sneaks up on you like that and then I just went full neckbeard and <laughs> here I am with like what 8 level 60s on both servers combined oh man you are a neckbeard yeah it's Damn, bad. that's going hard <laughs> yeah that's real bad how many 60s do you have on blue uh, I've got 5 Oh, buddy. You should love I've yourself I've got two on more. red, and I'm coming up with uh, my Shadow Knight. Don't hate yourself. There's no reason for anyone to have five levels. Did you level them all? Uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of it was Chardock AE. You know, once I got that uh, right. level 60 enchanter, I was able to, you know, have people log in my other tunes to just sit there and get XP and blah, blah, blah. Chardock is kind of silly, you know. I like it. I like it. Um, well, shit. I don't have anything else, and we're all caught up on questions. So I got one little talking point that maybe out. we can devote five minutes to. We already touched on it a little bit, but it was uh, regarding LNS. And I think Garter and Tam Tam and pretty much everyone would agree that, you know, with Velius on the horizon, we're probably going to need to hopefully try to reform pnp if that's possible if we can have a sit down and maybe at least try to get some things worked out um i guess it, it kind of ties in with how we were talking about you know calling lns middle in the middle of the fight or you know some mistakes are happening here and there but like right now there's really no penalty for calling lns so you know say we engage good guys good guys wipes the floor with us we call LNS and we're out of there before they even kill the mob and we're on our next mob, you know, getting positioning, getting in place for PvP. And it might change the whole course of the rest of the day, the rest of the repops, just because we were allowed to call LNS and get the hell out before anything even happened. You know, there's, there really has to be some kind of penalty going forward, I guess, for guilds calling LNS. You know, what do you think about that or potentially LNS reform? What does Garter think about that? You know, go for it. Garter, you go first. Um, well, I can't really speak <laughs> for... I can't speak for all good guys because we haven't really had this discussion specifically, so I don't want this to sound like, you know, this is the guild position. But, I mean, me personally, I think... I think um, Force LNS is fine how it is, actually. Um, I think the personal LNS, is, the individual LNS is the is the petition quest bait it's that's the stupid stuff that we need to address i really feel like because especially if you're trying to encourage competition okay you use the example where you know where empire takes the loss well 
I mean, the reality of the matter is right now, that's not what happens most often. And, and specifically, even your example happened at that tracking on that one time. You guys just forced LNS out and you went after better pixels. Um, and so that would have hurt you in that one instance. But I think uh, in the spirit of competition, you got you to gotta facilitate these smaller guilds getting up and, and moving on. Um, and maybe I'm not in the smaller guild right now, but I came from, you know, a third tier guild or a third faction guild and i really felt like that's was the only way that we really had the ability to keep playing a lot of times um especially when empire would actively seek out our raids and stuff and disrupt them i mean we really didn't have any option but to lns and just get out of there and uh it was either that or just avoid the uh pvp completely and it's a red server so i think that we have to try to facilitate pvp as much as possible and if you penalize somebody a whole guild for three hours in his own or something like that, they can't even get their corpses or whatever the specific terms would be. I mean, you're essentially just giving them all the excuse they need to not fight at all. So I think that's uh, the opposite of what we're looking for. But what about something, say, like, you know, I don't know what the exact rule would be or even what a suggestion would be, but what if it was something like the losing guild is not allowed to force LNS until the target was actually killed that way you know it's not going to be three hours it's not going to be two hours it's probably just going to be an extra 20 minutes but it's going to allow the winning guild to get their shit and move on before the losing guild does unless you know that is unless you leave two groups to sit on two groups that can kill a kunark mob with you know uh 12 people and you just leave the groups there on all of our corpses and go raid something else no, so, I'm not saying that would be the case. I mean, I'm saying, like, if you call Force LNS, you're not going to be able to leave two groups and sit on a bunch of people. You know? It's just my my experience is that the losing team in mass PvP has almost an edge. Well, not I wouldn't say an edge, but they have... There's literally no penalty for losing. And that's fine. I, I like that there's no penalty for losing. No one should be with, stuck without their corpse. I don't... You know, as much as I'd love to grief people into the ground, mm -hmm. that's just not conducive to a healthy server at this point, and that's, that's not even that fun to me anymore. But the losing guild just really has... There is no... There's no penalty. There's no losing for a team that's losing a fight and calling mass, you know, force LNS. Well... That's my concern. Here's what I'll say. I, not too long ago, maybe a month ago, a month and a half ago, I, I got in touch with a few of the guild leaders on the blue server, and based on the conversations with them, we came up with a new, completely new rating policy. Uh, I wouldn't say completely new, but we added a lot of stuff, we tweaked a lot of stuff. I listened to what they had to say and, and made changes based on that. And so if we were going to make changes to the PNP, or specifically Loot and Scoot, I'd probably do it the same way. I'd get in touch with a few guild leader types and and hear what they have to say. If, if there was too much difference, I might pull a couple guild leaders together into a call and see what kind of compromises or uh, agreements they could come to that way. But uh, we wouldn't just shove something down your throat. We would definitely get feedback from players and and go from there so i mean I'm is not that gonna... something do you think that might be on the plate before Velius? is that something we can maybe get on the plate um maybe maybe so, it's yes. definitely it's definitely not off the plate the problem is there's a lot of shit on the plate right now right and so like it's got to share space with a lot of other things well i mean if it's agreed upon by you know, the, the two biggest guilds that represent, represent you know, what, 70% of the server probably? I, I mean, it could be something as easy as you just signing off on it, right? No, I'd still have to show it to Rogan. And then Rogan would have to A-plus it, and then I could put it up. <laughs> well, while we're on the LNS then, too, Gardner mentioned something about the individual LNS that you weren't in favor of. What was that? Maybe we can talk about that or something. I, you know, I don't have any specific proposals on it. I just am making the observation that uh, right now it's it seems like it's a hassle. Um, and now with the latest 
clarification, you know, before you'd have guys trolling Sebelis and wiping out EXP groups and then eating PvP or PvE deaths and then calling LNS to get out of there to go raid. Um, at least now that we have the clarification from Unomiya that, you know, there must be YT or there is no LNS. I think that clears up a lot of the petition baiting that, that's going on um, because it's it's a lot more uh, concrete. Was there YT? Yes. Okay, you're on LNS. Was there YT? No. Okay. Well, the problem is the only way we have to monitor YT is through the chat channel, so legitimately people can log in and miss it, or through uh, R99 PvP, which, uh, as everyone knows, sometimes the monitor goes down, and especially during mass PvP. So... Um, but mass PvP is not really relevant to the individual uh, LNS question. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I just think that right now, you know, guys running around naked. I mean, I've had a, a, a cleric do it to me. An Empire cleric zones into KC, standing there naked, and I'm like, LNS, no. Okay, I kill him. He zones back in. I said, tell him LNS, no. I kill him. I'm going to report you for this. I mean, that's more work for the GMs to look at that and laugh at the guy. And uh, it's more, you know, it, I got to be worried about killing this guy that's being a D-bag to me uh, because he's trying to bait me. And, you know, maybe it's just a better policy to just not kill nakeds. But, um, you know, th there's too many ways for people to get caught up right now. And to get an LNS suspension and you get three months or whatever um, a as the, you know, accumulated uh, suspensions come up, uh, I think that's... First of all, it's excessive punishment for just killing somebody. In-game death, you lose nothing. There's no reason to suspend somebody's account for that long unless they're being extremely nasty, I think, anyways. Mm -hmm. It's corrective action, though. Well, if, I think, if, you know, if don't first... you think a week not playing your favorite character or whatever is... Here's isn't... the thing, though. If, if we suspended a week already, it must not have worked if it we're doing it again. That's, That's assuming what... all the judgments are correct. Right. Not, I mean, I'm not calling you guys out because, you know, you, you guys do do what you can, but the LNS is very, it's very subjective, and the whole story is rarely conveyed in screenshots and fraps and chats. It really is a dodgy subject. I, I mean, I agree that there should be some kind of punishment, but I can honestly say that the spirit of LNS is so that you're never stuck without your corpse. You're never not, you know, you're not incapable of playing and honestly when's the last time that someone on red has been corpse camp so much that they've been unable to play i honestly can't remember and i've i've been around for a long time so i think the spirit of lns is alive and well but the problem the real problem is that people use lns to get people in trouble just as much as they use it to follow the rules and you know kind of you know they use it as much to get people in trouble as they use it to actually lns and that, I, did, I think, is a big problem. I did want to clarify one other thing that people were confused about, and I asked Sirkin so that I would know. If you call Loot and Scoot, you must scoot regardless of anything else that happens. When you make that, you know, you have promised you're going to scoot under any circumstances. So, yeah. no matter Why what else happens, Why you have to scoot after you loot. Yeah, I remember on live, it was a uh, player enforced. You know, you'd stand yep. over somebody's corpse and watch them loot it. And if they didn't start heading to the zone line, you'd start killing them right where they stood. Yep. Um, and uh, I think that, you know, making that portion of LNS player enforceable would be, uh, would probably be a benefit, you know, instead of saying, um, you know, the, the you have to just leave them alone until they leave the zone and put a minute timer on that or something. I mean... <laughs> on live, you had to turn around and head for the zone. You didn't get to sit there and med and gate or anything. You go for the zone line. And you, yeah. That's what but, you had to do. I mean, here's, here's an example. If somebody is in sub and they have been rezzed at the zone in, the zone out is they're going to be training mobs. You know, who knows what's going to happen in from the zone out, you know, to the zone in. And they aren't killing anybody. They aren't actively PvPing. They aren't killing any mobs. So what harm is it if they are waiting there for somebody to come in and port them out? Well, technically, they could be spying, uh, you Why know, watching they timers, wait for watching a movement. port the next zone over? Yeah. What's that? They can What's wait happening? for a port the next zone over. 
they well, can but I mean, they have to train the zone out at that point. Well, it would also go a long way if the winning guild would assist with the CR process. That was something else that, at least on Valenzek, would happen here and there, just so that we could get them all out of the zone as quickly as possible. But then, yeah, now we did that at Tracking on just uh, what was it, a month ago? So, a plus well, with with the YT, <laughs> well, the quote unquote YT tax now, where if you don't get YT'd, uh, LNS doesn't count. What well, happens yeah, whenever but you have scumbag people who are tr who will purposely run into mobs to avoid that yellow tax, and that oh yeah also goes against the spirit of it. Back on in on live on your server and on my server. We had mutual respect for our enemies, and and we would let them loot and scoot, and if they got us, we would follow loot and scoot, and we didn't take advantage of it. We we, res we respected it, and we respected each other, and, and that was it. We were enemies, but we still had some kind of mutual respect, and I feel oh, that lacks that a little bit. Here. Yeah, I feel that's lacking on red. Uh, here, if you're pissed off at someone, you just take a mace, and you go attack people on the street. <laughs> Uh, I don't even know if players are... I don't even think players are... are some players I don't think are capable of enforcing Loot and Scoot on their own. And other players I don't think are willing to enforce Loot and Scoot on their own. But in a magical world, it would absolutely be 100% player enforced. Um, okay, well, let me, let me throw another part then on top of this. So, say there's potential for some kind of reform on this uh on the pnp or on the lns mm -hmm. uh now a lot of times we are talking about how people you know get caught up in a mistake and they're at, they're suspended for seven days or even worse you know 14 28 uh whatever the the compounding penalty yeah. is and at some point you got to say wow you know like garter said wow that's that's excessive you know is there any way that the reform could potentially allow for maybe a flat seven day on the lns violation no matter what like, if it's LNS-related, just always seven days, no matter what. Is that something that if everyone agreed upon, we can maybe get that into effect? Because I know a lot of people uh, kind of get taken down for mistakes here and there, and it really is a shame, enemy or not, even if they're, you know, a good guy that I hate. Well, I don't really hate anyone on the server, but even if it's someone that I really dislike, you know, I wouldn't want them to be suspended for fucking 60 days for a simple LNS violation. That's brutal. Is that something we can maybe get looked at? If it's everyone agrees? definitely something that could be looked at because I know some things don't follow the 7, 14, 28 thing. Uh, like boxing, for example, is just 30 and then a ban. So, I mean, there's definitely precedent for specific things having their own set of punishment. Uh, I'm not going to tell you it's definitely going to happen, but it's definitely something that can be looked at. Cool. Because I don't want people yeah, I mean, to get that's... suspended for things, for accidents or mistakes by me or another staff member. Like, I don't want that to happen either. But at the same time, I know there's people out there who don't care about eating seven days. And they'll just do that shit over and over and over again because they don't care. Well, I think that at some point you have to exercise your discretion and just say, okay, well, I've banned this guy for seven days 15 times, you know, it's... Do something else about it, maybe. Oh, but man, I, I have a lot of fun with that, though. I got one player who's on his next one's 224, and I got <laughs> one guy whose next one is 112, and I'm very much looking forward to both of those. But what if it's an LNS violation? Oh, well, no, assuming it it's won't red. be. They're both blue server. But if it was red, man, how would you feel bad if you're if suspending someone for server, 220 days for an something. LNS violation? Sometimes I have way too many petitions, and I'll try to get through them quicker than I would normally. And if I look at something and I see your next suspension is 56 days, I will I will go back into, like, efficiency over speed mode, and I will try very hard to make the absolute correctest call that I can make. Um, I might be a little willy-nilly with the seven-day suspensions, but uh, I really do try not to give out the big ones unless I know it's... 100% certainty. Um, the other ones, it's like, if I'm wrong, they can petition it, and we'll deal with that. Cool. But, uh... I mean, the seven-day thing has a lot of support on this side of, uh... the, uh, uh... the server as well. Well, yeah, you guys got a lot of accounts you can throw away for seven days. 
Jose. Uh, I don't think that one side has an advantage over the other in that regard. Yeah, I, I think seven days is. Uh, there's not many people who would abuse, you know, an account to just throw away for seven days on a on a cheap LNS kill. I'm joking, you nerds. Still, um, I would love to see it just be a flat seven day. That's that's exciting news, actually. So, if, I'm a if that ever happens, yeah, I'd, I'd be I'd be very much in favor of that. I had someone ask this question like three or four different times, and I just kept forgetting to ask it. I'm going to assume that the worst solo class for level 60 PvP is a cleric, yes? Anyone disagree with that? Yeah, you're never going to kill anybody unless you're yeah, naked. Pretty much. Okay, so what then at level 60 would you say is the worst PvP class in group PvP? They all have their utility. I mean, clerics still aren't going to get YTs. Enchanters and and big PvP right, battles they're, aren't going to get YTs. Right, but they're still needed, though. Like, if you had one spot left in your PvP group, who's just the one class you would not want that spot to go to? Uh, I guess Shadow Knights but Paladins, for me, personally, are kind of iffy. Paladins can be great if they're good support players and they always have soul fires ready to go. Shadow Knights, they just don't do much damage and you kind of got to play... I mean, they have the Harm Touch, of course, but they kind of got to play controlled, you know, dot people run away, dot people run away. So Shadow Knight for me is probably one of the least... Yeah, I guess the least powerful for me. As I'm sitting here on my Shadow Knight? <laughs> yeah. Uh, they're good at dirty probably... fighting. Maybe not a problem. Empire has too much, but I think uh, <laughs> Rangers without Wind Strikers, personally. Oh yeah, that too. Rangers that too. without Wind Strikers. You know what? Hey, well, you guys have just as much Druids, access but... to um, Wind Strikers as yeah, Empire right. does. I'm it's with you on that guard. It's not a raid target. Like... All right. All right. We have a couple of good ones. That's for sure. Yeah. Everybody's got good good Wind Striker Rangers. Oh, I don't. I don't have any rangers on staff. Jokes, guys. Jokes. But for real, I don't think anyone on staff actually has a ranger either. Um, I think that's it. I think we're done. It got a little, it got a little rocky in the middle there because people were firing shots. Gong show. But uh, oh, what? No prof. But uh. <laughs> Thank you guys very, very much for coming on. And, oh, Brolo, you asked a question at some point. I'm sorry I remember your name, but I didn't ask it. Loot and Scoot is basically, if you get killed, you call Loot and Scoot, or LNS. And that allows you to loot your things and leave the zone. And it's a way to, uh, as someone said earlier, it's, it's, it's designed to uh, not prevent you from playing the game. You, if EverQuest is a game where you need your corpse, you need your items, and Loot and Scoot makes sure you have those things, but also removes you from the zone you just got killed in. Because if somebody just killed you, they shouldn't I, have to worry about you. Yeah, they shouldn't have to worry about you sneaking and killing or spying on them or any kind of shit. You should just go away. Because the other option is them camping your corpse and killing you over and over and over again. Um, Garter, thank you very much for coming on stream this evening. Say goodbye to these fine people, and, and if they're interested in joining your guild, tell them what they can do or where they can go to apply to that. Uh, yeah, we have a website. It's goodguysr99.com. Um, our uh, site admin went on a little vacation last week, so it's a little out of date, but you can get on the forum there and toss in an app. A+. plus. Uh, Gong Show, same thing. Say goodbye and plug things to plug for your guild in case they're interested in joining. Where do they do that? Uh, its website is empirer99.com. And, uh, yeah, pretty much throw in an app, same as Good Guy. And thanks for having me. Absolutely. It was a pleasure having you. Tam Tam! Hey. I'm very happy you were here this evening. I, oh, hope. I was glad to be invited. Well, I hope you had a good time, 
And I would tell you to say goodbye to these people. And if you have anything you want to plug or say, you should do that now. Sure. Um, anybody from Blue listening to this, I'd say never mind all the bullshit about LNS and any of the politics that we've been talking about. Come over to Red. Give it a shot. Uh, level up your tunes. Hang out with friends. It's fun to kill other other people. Um I had everything on blue. I moved it all over to red. It is that good. It's it's fun. Mm-hmm. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. You know me, uh. Good night, everyone. Thanks for watching. See you in the game. Well, yeah, but hopefully not, because I always when you say that, I feel like it's a threat. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna remove surnames and yeah, I'm some coming to get you. <laughs> oh. Well, thank Just, you very much for coming on tonight, too. It's always pleasure. a pleasure Thanks having you. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Um, do, 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 do. I'm going to put you guys on hold. If you want to chit-chat afterwards, you can. But I got things I got to do without you now. They're gone. It's just us. Guys, thanks for watching and listening and all of the things. Hit the follow button because I don't really post things. So if you want to know when we stream, that's how you'll know. Monday nights, 10 p.m. Eastern, we do this thing here. But then there's also some sporadical streams throughout the week. Sporadical might not have just been used correctly. It might not even be a real word now that I think about it. Um, either way, that's why you should follow the thing. If you miss things but you wish you hadn't, youtube.com slash p 99 That's where all the things are at. Um, this is the part where I open a tab and I do 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 click anything. Do, 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 do. It's going to take a long, long time. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's see. Oh, that's perfect. We'll do this nerd right here. So, yeah. Going to host somebody else after this, even though... Even though... Oh, shit. Wait. I can't. What a nerd. What an absolute nerd. Oh, you nerd. You're doing it wrong. You're doing it so wrong. What can we do? What can we do? What can we do? Um, We'll do this nerd right here. Alright guys, sorry for that you just had to deal with that whole thing. But, uh, all the things. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Bye!